Understanding I'm Out of Energy, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the world of English and unlock the secrets to fluent communication. Today, we're exploring a common phrase that you might hear in everyday conversations. I'm out of energy. It's a simple yet profound statement that can express more than just physical tiredness. So, if you've ever wondered what it means and how to use it correctly, you're in the right place. When someone says, I'm out of energy, they're directly expressing that they feel tired or exhausted. Imagine your body is like a battery in a smartphone. Just as a phone runs out of power, a person can run out of energy after a long day of work or activity. This phrase is often used to indicate that the speaker needs to rest or recharge. Beyond the literal sense, I'm out of energy, can also be used in a figurative context. It can describe feeling emotionally drained or lacking the mental motivation to engage in activities. This usage is common in situations where someone is overwhelmed by stress, responsibilities, or emotional challenges. It's a way of saying that one's mental or emotional battery is depleted. Understanding the cultural nuances behind the phrase is crucial. In many English-speaking countries, openly expressing one's feelings of tiredness or exhaustion is accepted and can even foster empathy and support from others. However, it's also a personal statement, so it's used more in informal settings among friends or family rather than in professional or formal contexts. If someone tells you they're out of energy, it's important to respond with kindness and understanding. You might offer support by saying, take some rest, or is there anything I can do to help? Such responses show empathy and concern for the person's well-being. I'm out of energy is more than just a statement about physical tiredness. It's a versatile phrase that can express a wide range of physical, mental, and emotional states. We hope this video helps you understand and use this phrase more effectively in your English conversations. Remember, learning a language is about connecting with others, and understanding such phrases enriches those connections. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into the English language. See you in the next video.